today we are going to review McDonald's toys. Now the last toys that they had were the Mario Kart and what was the girl toy? The the girl toy, by the way. It was what Beanie uh, Boos. It was the tiny yeah. Beanie Boos. I didn't care much for the Beanie Boos, so I got the Mario Kart boy toy. <laughs> And I got two of those, but we'll we'll do those some other time. So this time is the first time I've seen them carry the Barbie toys and the uh, Hot Wheels toys. This time I care more about the girl toy. So we get Barbie. Although I am really sad that Barbie is not anatomically correct. Nobody, for all of you little girls watching, no human looks like that ever. So just drop it. I wish they would just make a real life size Barbie, but they won't. But look, they have different colored Barbies, which is good. Good job, Barbie and McDonald's for that. That's that's good. That's a plus. So first thing on the box, as usual, you can pop out the McDonald's box size. Now on the boy side, we have a uh, a word search. I've never seen. How fast can you find five hidden words? I've never seen a boy that this kind of toy would target this age demographic sit and actually look for words. But if they ever choose to, they're right here for that. <laughs> then you can punch out this hole here. So you can punch out the middle of the loop and use your launcher to race on through. They get a launcher with the toy? I might have made a mistake. I might have to go back. I didn't know there was going to be a launcher. I might go back for that. We'll keep this just in case I go back for that. The last time I got a Happy Meal toy, I didn't get the Smiley box, so I'm super psyched for this. I got a stupid sack with grease stains on it and a toy thrown in the bottom, and that was that was rude. So just in case that happens again, I'm going to save this box so that I can launch my car through that hole, and we'll see how fun that is. On the back, we have this adorable, stupid face. This face looks so stupid and funny. I love it. And we've got a Go-Gurt stick here, which are delicious, by the way. Not real yogurt, though, kids. don't. That's not real food. But it's, it's good, and that's all that counts, right, because it's McDonald's. Then you've got these glasses with the twirly stuff, and you can stick it on your straw so you can make a funny face. I'm, I'm doing that. That's totally happening. Then we've got, on the Barbie side, they have It's a Fashion Emergency. Help Barbie find her friends. And her friends find the fantastic items above for their perfect night out. Super cute. If you haven't seen Barbie Life in the Dream House, it's on Netflix. I hate it. It's really awful. <laughs> the girls are very screechy and stompy and throw stuff. If you like it, I'm so happy that you found something that makes you happy. And I support that 200%. But I personally don't want to watch it anymore, so I won't. It's all for you. Here are the items that you can find in the Barbie Dream House. And if you've seen the show, this is kind of what... One of these young ladies have a walk-in closet that goes on for years and years, and she's got everything you could ever own because it's Barbie land and everything's magical. So this is kind of what her walk-in closet looks like, I believe. And uh, if I'm wrong, correct me on that. I'm sure you will. Let me know if that's not right because I care 700% if that's not right. Anyway, there's little fogged-out items like, look, there's a palm tree. Hey, don't and worry there's, don't there's a Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Find your own stuff. They're, they're in there, though. Trust me. The bottom has um, the next Happy Meal stuff. On the bottom, it says, please recycle. Do that. That's nice. And then it says, Littlest Pet Shop is next with Madden 15. I don't care much about sports, so boys, that's for you. Unless there's some kind of a launcher, then I'm in. But the Littlest Pet Shop stuff, sweet stuff. That is, that's really popular right now. I don't have any Little Pet Shop stuff because it's kind of pricey. But I'll be hitting up McDonald's for that, that bad boy. I'm getting it. I don't care what's going on. Now, to the good stuff. The box is a lot of fun, but that's not really why we're in it. I got the... You can be enthusiastic from the back. I got the Barbie Life in the Dream House number one Happy Meal toy. And it's the, the the white Barbie in the pink dress. I don't Is this the Barbie? Like the one Mrs. Barbie? I don't know what her name is. But I love her shoes. Her shoes are cute. I can't wear these kinds of shoes. I can't walk in them. I don't I don't really know anybody that can pull them off. I've seen I know what happens, but I haven't seen it. Point is, I'm glad that I can live vicariously through her shoes. Because those are cute. So open. Next time, maybe scissors. 
scissors will be handy next time. Um, while I'm doing this, um, if you would like, you can go ahead and pop the box so we can have the box all popped up. This is the Barbie, and she comes in this little plastic case that kind of holds her hair intact, which I like because I don't like when they have cake box hair. It's really hard to get unboxed, the box hair. It's just as bad as bedhead. Pop her out of there. She has a little bit of box hair. That's okay. You know, for kids that have toys and you want to fix box hair, if you wrap them in one of those foam curlers and leave it, just leave it for a while, it'll, it'll kind of sort of stay that way. That's what I do. Oh, she's got a cute little bow in her hair. Can you see? She's got a cute little pink string tying up her hair, which is a cute touch. They didn't have to do that. And they went the extra mile. Let's see if she can stand. She's better than me. She's better than I am, probably at everything. But she can stand. Well, she's cute. She's cute. See how cute? Almost she's there. got... She's got a full skirt, so no looking up her skirt. That's good. Nice touch. She can't twist her waist, but she can move her head. Look at that. She can move her head. Oh, look at her face. Look at her eyes. She looks kind of... She looks nice. That's pretty. And she can move her arms, but this one is perpetually bent. Oh, yeah. That one's perpetually bent for a reason. I forgot. Inside the bag comes this little punch-out purse. How cute is that? That's a cute thing. It says, made for McDonald's, printed in China. Well, his and everything. 2014 Mattel. America can't even print their own toys. But there's the purse, and it's really cute. I'm going to punch it out without tearing it. It's surprisingly difficult. It is. I'm difficult. still not done. This is ridiculous. We need to get in touch with the with the official perforator and let them know these things could have been a little more perforated. Look, it's outlined in black, which is a little funny, but you know, they had to outline it in something, didn't they? Okay, we'll put, go ahead and put it on her. There, now she's carrying her little bag. That is wicked cute. Alright, I've got this done with minimal uh, tearing. Oh, cool. I do not know that the straw is going to fit, though. But we'll, we'll see. Oh, Just okay. cram it through there. It's paper. We can, we, got, we can tape it. Look, if you see this necklace, um, this necklace is not printed on. That's a raised up separate plastic necklace, which is nice. And her top is kind of textured, like it may have, have meant to be sparkly. It's cute. I like her. She, her legs don't move, so you can't officially walk her, but you can kind of bunny hop. She's in a perpetual state of hello, or you can put the hand... Oh no, that oh that hand stays. That's interesting. She is in a perpetual state of hello, how are ya? How are you there? She's constantly waving. Or you could put the purse up here, like she's showing it off. Or she could be high fiving. Oh, high fiving. Let's get a little mini Barbie high five in here. Pa! That's a good high five, Barbie. Right on. Put that in there. Hey. Hey other Barbie, look at my fancy purse. Are you jealous? That's good. So this is cute. Not so much for a play toy, because she's not very movable. But if you if you dig Barbie enough to just have her sitting around, this is a cool one for that. Let's see the stick. This stick is possibly possibly even better than the toy. Excuse me, Barbie. Look at that. Look how psyched. Look how psyched he is. That's adorable. That's good. And now comes the final touch. <laughs> this dude can see you. He can see you or she. Not ju not judging. This this box can see you. I'm gonna be talking about my little ponies, but not friendship is magic, unfortunately. They're too new, too expensive. We're going to talk about G3 ponies, the old school ponies. I had them donated to us so that we can have fun reviewing them. So until next time, remember to love the toys you have, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.